Why am I all dressed up? Because I'm here to tell you five things you didn't know about the iPod, and I ain't got a lot of time. Number one, you can replace the iPod's battery yourself. That's right, no need to pay 65 bucks to Apple when you can go online and get a third-party battery and a do-it-yourself tool to crack the case open, like this. Don't bet you can get the thing back together again, though. Number two, you can rip your DVD movies to watch on your video iPod. Check out the open source Handbrake program, which will convert DVDs to the MP4 format used by the iPod. By the way, it's legal to copy your DVDs, but you're not allowed to break the encryption. You need to copy them. No time to explain. This is TV. Number three, still saddled with Windows 98, ME, or Linux? You need to spend 30 bucks to get a cross-platform access tool called XPlay. Number four, there are viable MP3 alternatives to the iPod. Not really, but Samsung is taking a run at the market again with its new YPZ5 player. And the winner is, you can bypass Apple's DRM, but you shouldn't. That would be wrong. You can actually copy songs by converting them to analog and then just running a cable into your sound card. But hey, if you're too cheap to pay 99 cents for a song, then how the heck did you afford the iPod in the first place? For the news show, I'm Alex Wolf. I can't get no satisfaction.